What's up, everybody? Well, guess what? I'm in Virginia City, and most of it is right down there. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a quick little pit stop and start off at the top of the town right here at the museum. All right, so as you can see, super cool entryway into it. So we're going to go ahead and make our way up there and check out some cool stuff. Maybe I'll show you some things, and then after that, I'm going to show you the town. But just so you don't miss anything, I'll give you the western view and then check that out some of the first buildings all right so that right there the village pump and all that stuff looks like it might be a little bit of an information center so if you're in the area you might want to stop in there other than that into the museum i'll tell you what if you're going to go ahead and come out here you better be ready to go ahead and accept the fact that this is the old west this has the largest collection of original 1800s buildings in the western side of the country and by the way that information center is just not your normal one that guy actually knows his stuff he's on the city council and he's been here for a very long time so just figured i'd drop that your way in case you do decide to come out here if you got a lot of money remember this is the same as any other town if you're looking to invest anything you invest in what the town is not what you want it to be okay because some places out here just aren't worth destroying for the sake of what you think they should have, okay? Sorry to tell you that, guys, but that's just kind of the way it is. Anyway, we're down the street, and we're going to go down to the next stuff, so I'll see you guys in a second. Well, I figured I'd show you the sign. That way you don't think I'm full of hot air. You know what I mean? So anyway, this is the sign, and pay attention to the bottom right there. Resisting change since 1863, okay? Now, that's a big problem that we have up here in Montana, in case nobody's realized it. They officially found us on the map, and now this is turning into the new rich person's haven. And a lot of the people, including all the Montana locals, do not like it, because what they're doing is they're destroying a lot of the history of this state, just for the sake of development, to put a little bit of coin in their pocket. But I wanted to go ahead and show you the sign right here, and you can see the phone number on it and all the rest of the stuff, just in case you're interested. Go ahead and call the number. Find out where it takes you, all right? I dare you. But in the meantime, this is the edge of town, the original town. And as you can see, it is tourist season here, so it does get a little bit busy. By the way, that house right there has some really cool Old West history, but you're gonna have to figure that out if you make it out here. And then same thing with the museum. It had so much cool stuff in it, I didn't know where to start, so I figured I'd just leave that to wonder for you guys. But in the meantime, I'm going to walk one side downtown and then up the other side and you guys get to see at least what the buildings look like. But as far as all the itty bitty little details of all of them, I might show you a little bit here and there, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this like most of my other ones and you'll just have to wonder unless you make it here yourself, all right? So I'll see you a little bit farther down the road. All right, everybody. Well, as you can see, this is where it starts. Now there's a little bit more concrete from some of the newer buildings. And some of the ones that didn't have the original old wood decking that had to concrete just for the sake of keeping the foundations of their buildings. But this one's the newest one, established in 2015. This is, in fact, the newest building here, okay? Now, everything else behind me is all original, all right? So, as we go down, I'll queue up little by little, and you get to see some of the structures of these things. And then when I hit the original boardwalk... You're gonna see that too, all right? So come on, let's go check this out. Well, I'm walking down the first section of boardwalk and it had to have some maintenance to it. As you can see, it's not as old and rustic as you would expect, but believe it or not, the wood they used back then was quality milled. So you can take a look at some of the older buildings on the other side, some of the old brick buildings anyway. And then we're getting ready to hit some other old buildings. By the way, that sign for the gift shop that you saw over there happens to be a friend of mine from back when I lived in Big Sky. So if you do make it out here, stop by. She's got a lot of cool stuff. In the meantime, we're gonna check out some other cool things. I want you guys to take a really good look at this building. This is one of the original ones. Now, if you're into rock and gems, you're gonna wanna go into the door right over there. Bunch of rocks, bunch of gems, really good hats stuff like that other than that there's a whole nother side to it and believe me they are separate it's not just one big building so as you walk down the town that way there's a whole bunch more cool stuff a couple of brick buildings and stuff like that and then after that you get into the old vintage wood ones that are from the 1800s and then you've got everything across the street which are all the boardwalks this is allegedly the oldest still in place intact 
and still in use building in all of Montana. Did you hear that? That happens to be the gentleman that actually runs the rock shop. There we go. There so, you go. A little bit of history yeah. for you. I didn't Some know that. Thank you. There too, yeah. See? There you go. A little bit of history for you guys to go ahead and have. The rest of it you're going to have to read on the wall. So I'll see you at the next location. Hey, what's going on, guys? So check this out. I'm in front of the old bank out here in Virginia City. And there's a little bit of history that I want you to hear about it. I got my friend Danny here. She happens to run the place. So she's going to go ahead and let you know a little bit of the history about this because apparently there were some arsons involved. So go ahead. Well, I don't know all the details, but I do know that this building burned in the 1800s. Somehow the vault in the back survived and not just the vault, but the painting is the original painting. And the people who did the whole building again kept the essence of the building. So you can see the beautiful facade and you can see the ceilings and the vault is definitely the biggest attraction. So yeah, if you want to go. That's absolutely <laughs> cool. And keep in mind, by the way, this is a souvenir shop and this jacket is super super old denim which is one of the things that they have in 1950s. here so 1950s 1950s <laughs> so if you're interested in that kind of stuff you definitely want to check it out in the meantime the only thing i'm going to show you about this place is the ceiling because this will blow your mind <laughs> other than that you're gonna to have to drive out here and check it out for yourself so i'm gonna go ahead and pop right in real quick and just show you the ceiling of this place Look at that. So a lot of the buildings out here in Virginia City, including the original cafe that's down the road over here, have that same roof. So if you're interested, make the trip. Other than that, I'm gonna show you some other cool stuff. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so check this out. This is right next door to the old bank. Now, if you want quality ice cream, you might wanna check this place out. Look at this. This is a double scoop, okay? And by the way, don't tell Joe Biden about it, okay? We don't need him here, all right? I'll see you guys in a second. So check this out, man. Original boardwalk, and yes, I'm still eating my ice cream because they stack it high, but like I said, don't tell Joe Biden, okay? He doesn't deserve this ice cream. This is real man's ice cream. You can tell it's all over my face. But anyway, check this out. Some of the old buildings, I'll give you a little bit of the street view so you can see the side I've been walking down. Now, all the way up the street over there, all the way at the very end, past the really tall building was the old original bank. These are all the rest of the buildings. Now, some of these are operational and some of them aren't. I'll give you a sneak peek into one of them real quick. This happens to be one of the ones that's literally just a museum piece, okay? So I'll bring you in here real quick and you can take a look at it. Now, these are pane windows, okay? So be gentle. Don't go tapping them or nothing like that. But what they do in this place is they go ahead and corral it off with this little fence so you can only go in so far. But it's like I showed you in the old bank building. Check out the ceilings. These things are amazing. This is what the original ceilings were like. And yes, that is in fact tin work, okay? So you can see all the rest of the stuff. There's a bunch of cool stuff in here, old library and stuff like that. Bunch of old books. There's an old typewriter, old lanterns. You can see some of the old chairs, a really cool old chest right there in the corner. And then as you can see, there are some more typewriters and paintings on the wall. So these are some of the cool things that you get to see while you come out here. But that's pretty much as much as I'm gonna show you unless I find maybe one or two more on the inside. But honestly, you know how I roll. You have to come check these places out for yourself, okay? Because like I said in my Deer Lodge Prison video, if you haven't seen it, you should check that out. But I did say in it right off the bat that if I show you everything, it totally defeats the purpose of you coming here, okay? And believe me, a place like this is something you don't want to miss. Down the road, there's another city called Nevada City. And that's going to be in another video. So sorry, guys. Not going to see that in this one. But in the meantime, I'll give you another cross street. Take a look at those. Yeah, those are wood, not bricks. Okay? So just so you know. And then there's one more thing I didn't get to show you on the back side of the building that I just walked you into. Take a look at that. Mm hmm quality old school stonework with a display room in there and everything all right now that's up to you all right so i'm gonna keep going on and i'll find some more cool stuff to show you but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the video i'll be back in a second
By the way, just so you guys know, they do have accommodations in Virginia City. I believe the Fairweather Inn is still a place where you can actually go ahead and get yourself a room. Now, there's something important you got to know about this. Once you get to the north side of town, past the Fairweather, you start hitting more of the museum-style areas of the town, as you can see the one right behind me. This is another one of those where they barricade it off so that you can only go in so far, okay? So it's actually something really cool to check out. There is a lot of stonework and a lot of woodwork, so they do ask that if you are a smoker, please don't smoke in these areas because remember, this is super old wood and it will burst into flames really, really quickly, okay? But in the meantime, just to give me an idea, I'm about six foot tall and I barely meet the clearance requirements to walk underneath the canopy of some of these buildings. So that just gives you an idea of how small these buildings are. So if you're a really tall guy, I'd be careful. But other than that, you can see everything down the way. You can see a lot of the old school buildings that are out there. And yes, I still have my ice cream, okay, because it's that good. And I'm making a video, so I can't eat it that fast. But do me a favor, just like I said last time, don't tell Joe <laughs> Biden. You know how he is about ice cream. We don't want him out here. Anyway, you can see all the rest of the buildings behind me, all the boardwalks and catwalks and all kinds of stuff like that. This place is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish heading down the way and then loop around, show you a couple other things and then I'll finalize this video, all right? So I hope you're enjoying the footage. I'll see you in a second. Now, in case you don't think these buildings are that old because of the way they look from the street view, go ahead and take a look at the side of this one. And by the way, it actually has a couple other buildings down here in the lawn too. Take a look at those. Now this is quality craftsmanship and yes these buildings are extremely old even though they don't look it when you go to the street view but most of them are in fact museum pieces at this point they're all got history plaques and everything and a bunch of information on the ones that you can go in and then by the way they have live music over there and yeah it does happen what I believe once a week or something like that so if you're into music that's where you're gonna go ahead and stop but uh, other than that, this is almost the end of town. And then after that, you've got the old train depot, which is just down the road. It's on the north side of town. And this whole town actually slopes downhill. So just to give you an idea, it's uphill up the mountain that way. And it's downhill down the gulch that way. So I hope your vehicles are good at parking on hills. And if you're riding bikes, remember, it's an uphill battle sometimes, all right? So, in the meantime, like I say in every other video, I hope you enjoyed the footage. You guys take care, and you have to come check this place out for yourself, okay? And share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're interested. And hit the notification bell, all right? So, in the meantime, I'm going to get out of here, make my way back up to the south side of town, which is uphill and then head back to my bus and on to the next location because I believe the next one that I'm going to is probably going to be Yellowstone. So, yeah, you guys take care. See you later.